Now, I love small brands, small indie brands. They're some of my favorite products to explore, but I know it can sometimes be challenging to kind of drift away from your favorites, or sometimes they can be a bit harder to access. Um, and maybe you don't want to risk trying like a serum or something. And I kind of think cleansers are a good category to explore if you're open to trying something new from a small brand, especially. I feel like small brands tend to put a lot of effort into their cleansers. A lot of them want to ensure that the experience is unique, a little bit different to what's out there, and that makes this category much more exciting. And they just also happen to be superior to a lot of the more commercially available options out there. I'm gonna start with my all-time favorite cleanser from one of my all-time favorite brands, Build Skincare, Be Wash. I talk about Build and Be Wash constantly, so I'm sure you're all sick of it. I have nothing left to say. I just love it so much. I recommend it to everyone. It is my favorite cleanser ever, ever, ever. It's a powder format that transforms into a super creamy microfoam. It just feels so soft and delicate and cloud-like on the skin. It rinses really well. It's non-stripping. But above all that, it also cleanses really well. And I guess to make a fairly big proclamation, if I could only use one cleanser for the rest of my life it would be be wash basic but in the most absolutely perfect way sometimes it lives in my shower i love using it in the morning just a quick little shower cleanse sometimes it's on my vanity just i've always got to be wash somewhere and although i've traditionally spoken about using this in the morning i very happily use it at night the only reason i don't use be wash at night as often as i could is because i simply like variety in my skincare routine and being on social media especially instagram i get a lot of products in and i'm not willing to change my morning routine so the night routine is where I play a little bit but if I was just a regular user I would be using be wash all day every day next one is cypher skincare cloud melt this is a super cool texture and they've done such a great job creating something truly unique it's like an oil cleanser gel cleanser hybrid and this one can definitely be used as single cleanse at night if you prefer I'm not sure about the makeup removal because it does have some acid, so I don't know how that will go around your eyes, but I found it to be quite gentle. It's just that I don't wear mascara or eyeliner, so I don't have experience with that directly. It has refining properties from the included mandelic acid alongside soothing ingredients like azulene and ectoin. It's actually a very packed cleanser formula with a lot more going for it than a lot of serums out there. In some ways, I wish this was a serum. When I use this cleanser, I actually like to treat it as a treatment cleanse. So I'll leave it on my skin for a bit of time, one to two minutes, and just truly work it in thoroughly. In some ways, it ends up being a bit of an express mask. So yeah, this one I do recommend if you like to work cleansers into your skin for a length of time. Next is a duo of cleansers from a brand called Josh Rosebrook that I think probably most of you are familiar with. They have two cleansers on range that are both really nice, but for different reasons. The first one is the Josh Rosebrook Essential Balm Cleanser. This is like a cleansing balm, but it comes in a squeeze tube, so it's that little bit more convenient. It's quite hydrating and nourishing and has a fairly like strong herbal scent. So if you love that kind of spa-like vibe, I think you'll love this cleanser. The next one, which is probably my favorite of the two options from Josh, is Complete Moisture Cleanse. This is kind of an odd cleanser because if you read the ingredients, it reads oily, but it doesn't actually feel that oily on the skin. It just feels like a gel cleanser, but a little bit more soft and delicate. It it has an abundance of plant extracts, so very much, again, an indulgent spa-like experience. To me, the scent is like a cross between orange and vanilla with a little bit of a medicinal kick. So it's a super unique fragrance that I just haven't smelled before. Think of this kind of like a gel to oil cleanser. And the last brand I'll discuss today is a big favorite, it's Saatchi Skin. They recently released a duo of cleansers earlier this year. These can be used as part of a double cleanse or just used independently if you prefer. The first one, the first one is the Saponins Cream Cleanser. And this is such a soft cream texture, but feels a little bit gummy. It smells amazing, makes my skin feel really clean but conditioned. And this has actually been designed with stressed or reactive skin in mind. What I really, but what I really love about that is that they haven't done it in a way where it's like just absent of anything. There's still a lot of extracts and things in here and super indulgent, but done in a way to ensure that it's still being protective on the skin. This one can start on dry skin and then you just add a bit of water to work it in. The second Saatchi cleanser is the Saffron Luminous Cleanser. This one is a little 
bit more active. It targets tone, congestion, and brightness. The Luminous Cleanser has a bit more of like a jiggly jelly texture. It also smells amazing. It's very fresh, bright, and refreshing, but not in like a cliche way, very much in a Saatchi way. And I believe this has some acids in it for some mild exfoliation. I haven't really discussed cleansing balms specifically in this video, but there are definitely a few cleansing balms around that I love from small brands. La Belle Lune has a couple of fragrance options like Witching Hour. Um, that's a great balm cleanser. And I really enjoy the Blue Tansy Edition from Deviant Skincare. And that's one of the original kind of indie brands that I discovered, I think from Caroline Hirons, where they were just using really high quality oils in a cleanser. And of course, another favorite small brand is Jordan Samuel. And he has just such a wide variety of cleansers. Um, lately, I've really been enjoying the cream cleanser from them, which has a bit more of like a purifying action. Um, quite unique for a cream cleanser experience. But I'd love to hear your favorites if you've got any small brands that you'd suggest I try. Again, cleanse, cleanses are a category that I enjoy exploring. It's just easy to try from multiple different brands like very quickly. Um, so yeah, if you've got any small brands that I need to try, let me know. I'm definitely keen to explore and I'll see you in the next video.